Hi, I'm Mr. Yusuf, and this video is about relational operators in MATLAB. I'm going to start off with uh, all of the relational operators that's available in MATLAB. Now we can use relational operators to compare two scalar values or even matrices, but the matrix would have to be of equal dimension. So the relational operators in MATLAB are the less than, the less than or equal to, greater than, the greater than or equal to, the equal, which is separate than the equal sign that, that you would expect, the equal sign in MATLAB is used specifically to define a variable and not to compare whether it's equal or not equal, and also the not equal sign. So there's five, there's six relational operators in MATLAB. Now let's go into MATLAB and see how does these relational operators function. Let's say I like to compare uh, between a value on whether it's equal or not equal. In this case, 5 equal to 5. And obviously it is true. So what would happen if, um, if it is true? How does MATLAB respond? It will respond by giving the value 1, which stands for true. Another example, 20 is more than or equal to 15, which is also true. If you press Enter, you will also get the value 1 which is true. How about matrices? So let's define a few matrices. A is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 3, 8, 2. And B is 7. Or C is 2, 2, 2, 2. Oops. That's wrong here. I forgot the equal sign. Okay, so A is this, B is this, and C is this. Now let's compare. Let's compare between A and B. Is A more than B? Now, A is a 2 by 4 matrix, while B is a scalar matrix. So what happens if you compare a, two by, a higher dimensional matrix with a scalar matrix, a 1 by 1 matrix? You get it like so, where MATLAB would automatically would compare A and B element by element wise. Where, um, okay, 1, is it more than 7? It's false, so it's 0. 2, is it more than 7? False again, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, except for this element here where it is more than 7, so it will give a true value here. Now how about if A and C? So let's say A is less than C. And what happens here is since both of these matrix, both of these matrices have the same dimension, then it would compare it element by element. So in this case, um, two is uh, one is less than two. It's true, so that will give us one. But for the other elements, the elements in A is not less than the elements in C, which result in the false or the zero value in the answer matrix. Now the find function we can use find function in conjunction with the relational operators to find certain elements in the matrix. So using the same variables a, b, and c with an addition of another variable, for example, for the purpose of this uh, video, so a is this, b is this, c is this, d is this, Let's say I'd like to find um, a value in the matrix D that is more than 0. So I type in find and D more than 0. It will give me the index of variables of elements in the D matrix that is more than 0. So here, the element 1 is not more than 0, so it does not come out in the results. The element 2 is more than 0, so that's why it gives us 2. The element 0 is not. Uh, the, element, the, the third element is not more than 0, so it doesn't give the, the third element. The fifth one, yes, and also the sixth one. So that's why it gives us the index 2, 4, and 6 for elements that are more than 0. And aside from just finding the index, we can use this information to replace those values in the matrix. For example, I like to change all of these 0, 0 values into the value 10. So since I know where it is, then I can just um, type in the same kind of commands in conjunction with the definition commands to replace those values. So an exa example is here, D, 
find any value that's equals to 0 and we replace it with 10. So basically in D, find any values that is equal to 0, in this case 0, 0 here, and replace those values with 10. You press enter, you notice that yeah, all those var variables has been changed from 0 to 10. We can also find, uh, this is a row vector, let's say we like to work with um, m by n matrix such as this a matrix a 2 by 4 matrix so I like to, to know the index of the the value 5 in the matrix a index of 5 is 1 by f is 1 4 and um, I like to find this index in a by using uh, MATLAB commands what I do is just type in okay, x y equals to find a equals to 5. Now this is new because we know that this is a higher dimensional matrix, a row by column matrix, so we would have to uh, specify the the values to place the row value which is 1 and the column value which is 4 and here we put it into x and y. So x and y equals to find elements in A that is equals to 5. So here you see the results come out as x which is the row is 1 and the column is 4 and notice that x and y has been defined because we, we put the equal sign here and if I want to replace this 5 value with another value like say 10 I would just type in a x y I can use x y now because it's already defined it equals to 10 and you see here that 5 has been replaced by the value 10 now how do we save our MATLAB workspace? Let's say we want to save all the values that you've defined in the workspace. Uh, we can do that by using the command line by typing in the function save and the, the name of the file. So let's say I name it as file name then I put a dot at the, at the end and with the extension mat press enter then it would save and this would save inside the the current working directory of MATLAB and since I set it as MATLAB IE216 here so the the default space the default location of where the file will be saved will be in this folder here but if you have not changed the working directory or the default folder where you're saving the MATLAB, it usually will be saved into the default folder that MATLAB uses, the documents folder, be it either Mac or Windows. Now, if you like to, now let's say if I clear up my workspace and also my command window and nothing is here and I like to reload those variables that are defined and saved in the file name.mat file. Now I can just type in load and the, the name of the file and the defined variable the saved variables would be reloaded into MATLAB. So that is the end of this video and um, I'll appreciate it if you were to give a like and comments in the comment section below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.